so it's very really full. <laughs> what you see here is um, it's the state of 1989, um, and uh, nobody, there was no time that a prisoner could escape, for example, because he never knew where he was, of course. But uh, also, it was. Um, there are many methods here, many techniques, uh, like a, like a signal system um, with a green and red light, for example, that uh, showed uh, all these uh, guards. They knew, well, my prisoner has to be kept in the cell until the other one is um, off the floor. So um, one prisoner never got in touch with another one. So isolation to the outside world, but also to the inside world, to break him. Normally uh, there are single cells, but we are here in one of the bigger cells. It's a cell for two people. They existed too. Um, you couldn't be sure if it was a cell spy, if you were here uh, with another one. If you are together in a cell with another prisoner, you maybe open up because he shares your fate. It's uh, the same system the stars is used uh, in the whole GDR, you know, the uh, unofficial collaborators, IMs, EMs. And they use this also in their prisons um, to get more information. 120 interrogation rooms. Each prisoner had a special interrogation room, so it was possible to interrogate him at any time it was necessary. Um, these interrogation officers uh, were trained in a special uh, Stasi university, Stasi college, and um, they used their, their methods like um, threats or bribing, and they wanted to have a special confession and um, a special name, a list of names, for example, or dates or whatsoever, or contacts, and they uh, wanted to have all these things to use in the trial to, um, you know, to fill the paragraphs. Any paragraph for political injustice, you could use anything to fill these paragraphs. And that, is what, that is what was the aim here. It was po really possible on, on the slightest way that you were not uh, in one opinion with the Communist Party, for example, or with the Stasi. So it could have been really easily that they landed here. And here uh, it is really possible to see and to feel what it was like to be in a dictatorship. But uh, you can learn a lesson which is really usable for any other country too, for everyone, I would say.